Look at all these pellets in here. All these bits of tree. I have to park the car under a tree, which is really quite annoying because every time I get in the car and put the fans on, it's reminiscent of a certain adventure quiz show from the 90s. Will you start the fans, please? So that's pretty much how it feels to start my car every day at the moment. So it's Saturday morning. No, it's not. It's, it's Saturday and I'm off to work. Now, that's a perfectly normal thing for me. I've completely got used to that as a photographer. I'm actually going to cover two properties today. I am shooting the first one in a little Worcestershire village called Flyford Flavel. Flyford Flavel. Some of the names in, in that area are hilarious. There's Wire Piddle. White ladies Aston, there's some brilliant names. So if I just say it quickly, I'll say it correctly. Fly for level. Just going through Upton Snodsbury. <laughs> Upton Snodsbury, what a brilliant name. That sounds like where Willy Wonka would live. Your destination is on the left. Right, once again, sat nav is wrong. This puts things into perspective. I've just found out that this is a bungalow and it's worth half a million. So the pressure is really on to get some good shots. So what we've decided to do is shoot the external of the property, because I'm only doing externals today, with the doors, with the, the big double doors wide open. <clears throat> and we've kept the master bedroom double doors closed just to show that the, the reception rooms really would be the doors that you'd keep wide open. So I'm going to shoot that and I'm going to have to put in a blue sky and make it look a bit warmer because it is a bit miserable today. And I also need to clean my throat. <clears throat> That's better. decide which way to what to do with doors if you have them open or closed just just do them both that's what I do so then you send them to the agent it doesn't take that much more time or effort to edit so I'm gonna shut these front doors now and just send them over to the agent because if they prefer them then they're gonna use them and that's better than getting home and them saying mm, do you mind taking another trip to to come back and do one with the doors closed that's exactly what I'm gonna do now Right, because it's a summer's day, we can really try and use this colour and really try and frame up some shots. Because remember, this is a high-end house. This class is a high-end house, I think. So we need to make it really pop, especially when people are scrolling right move and they're looking for a place. So we need to look to try and frame it as if it was wedding photography or landscape photography. We've really got to try and make it look really, really nice. Which it is. With the externals you could probably have a little bit more creative fun really so you could For example, you can play with if there's a rose garden Just put have a couple of roses that are out of out of focus that sort of thing and frame up the house And what another thing that I'd like to strive for in property stuff is to try and link the images all together so if there's a tree if you photograph it and then maybe the next shot you can see the tree in the corner so it's clear to the viewer where the photograph has been taken from and it's not so confusing. Right, so let's go and do this front shot and then we're finished. So this is a property photographer's nightmare. The vendor's son's girlfriend has gone to a wedding and they can't, they didn't leave the keys. So we've got a lovely blue Peugeot 106 parked slap bag in the middle. So my Photoshop skills are really gonna have to come into play. And if I can do it, that saves me another trip here for a time when they when they will move it. So the way I'm gonna combat that is get the get it on the tripod, lift it as high as I possibly can. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to clone it out. And also, I'm actually gonna change lens. As I said before, wide angle lenses really push things back and they also make verticals look a little bit clinical. I'm gonna get the 24-105 on 
so I can zoom in a bit. And sometimes I'm just a bit lazy and I just use the wide angle all the time. And I should stop being lazy really. So final bit of work on this property, I've just changed back to the wide lens at the, dis at the sort of request of the vendor, she wants to get her flower beds in as well. So the only way I can think of doing that is by using a wide lens and getting up high and looking down. Right, all finished. Now I've got to get these wheelie bins back up and I've got to head off to the next place. We've got to be there for four o'clock and it's half past three, so I'm cutting it fine. I didn't do a floor plan on that one because I'm returning to do the internals in a few months time, probably September, because that one is a work in progress, that house. And for now, I'm heading over to a, a cute little property in Studley to do a, I think it's about only about 100, 150 grand house. So that makes me think that it's gonna be quite a quick job, but I am doing a floor plan on that one and photos. So I'm hoping that I can be done before four, four five o'clock. We're 12 minutes away and it's, four o'clock now so that's not good but it can't be helped and I won't drive like a madman for the sake of 12 minutes I think I'll be able to explain what where I've been Continue on B4092 for two miles. look at the size of this bear that's massive Right folks, where we can, we always shoot in 3D. So this is the house here with the white rendered wall on the side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand back a bit and zoom in. And we're gonna lift it up high into the area, into the air and just shoot that like that. Finally back home. It's really warm at the moment, so I can't wait to get upstairs chill out for a bit. Back in. Who's this around this corner? Look at this. This is what you want to walk into, isn't it? Cup of coffee and some pasta. Some black coffee, I can handle that. Right, good times. Right, let me just drop the bag off. Thanks, babe.